Why Women Did Not Dating With Man As women grow older, they are faced with a reality of epic proportions. They get to realize that sooner or later there will come a time when they will not be able to reproduce, and there will come a time when it will increasingly hard for them to give birth, and that they soon need to find a partner, settle down and start a family. Women usually experiences this in their mid to late 30s. The majority of women are not ready for the wall, which is another term used to describe the impending time, when the biological clock starts to slow down and eventually come to a halt. Many women in their early 30s have had successful success catching men's attention for more than 20 years. The desire to date women in their prime has been and will continue to exist in males, as young as their early 20s and even as old as their 50s and 60s. Young ladies have received the attention they have always desired from men of all ages and social backgrounds, who have showed them love and given them validation. A lot of women have told me stories about how when they were in their mid-twenties, dodgy 50-year-old guys would hit on them, and when they turned 25, high school boys would try to get them to go on dates with them. There was a certain imbalance of the men's ages who usually pursued these women. In this sense, the world is open to us men, but not to women. This is because women reach the pinnacle of their lives in their 20s, and after that their value begins to fall. Men, however, reach their peak after their 30s and their value continues to rise until their 50s. When they are in their 20s, most women can easily catch the attention of men of any age. But beyond the age of 30 to 35, when their appearance begins to deteriorate, the interest of teenagers, 20-somethings, and even men of their own age starts to fade as they start to focus on younger women instead. Many women believe that the men in their age groups don't treat them fairly. Women who are 35 years old question why guys their age don't want to date and marry them. In actuality, a 35-year-old man with a job, resources, and a car can seduce younger, more attractive women in their 20s. Before becoming engaged and eventually getting married, most men need to spend a year or two getting to know a woman. Because of this, if a man marries a 35-year-old woman after undergoing this process, she won't give birth until she's 38, thus decreasing her chances of having children. Early to mid-30s women must start thinking about males in their late 30s, 40s and possibly even 50s as potential partners. Many of these older men are now the only ones left on the market because they have already had children and marriages. If these men are divorced, they'd likely already have children, and they might want a second wife. Some of the mid-30s women I know don't seem to want to accept this. They claim that only older men are looking at them, and they find it repulsive. These same ladies spent their 20s hopping from one fling to another, and now they're confused about what happened. They didn't anticipate finding themselves in this situation, and things weren't supposed to turn out this way. Many of them find it shocking that men select women rather than women selecting men. It's challenging for women to accept that they are being pursued in the same way they once were, since the natural order of relationships has been turned in favor of males. That only a small percentage of guys, who have been physically burned by women, have an understanding of the plight of women in their 30s are now the men, they choose to date instead of the entire male side of the human race. They will sleep around unprotected and claim to be taking the pill when they are not. I met a man who had three children in three years with three separate women, all of whom claim to be taking the pill. He is currently supporting two children and residing with the lady who gave birth to his third child. I used to believe that once their friends started having babies, a lot of ladies my age would start having children as well, especially in the group of individuals I hang out with. Many of my female friends who are in partnerships and are in their mid-30s have decided against having children at all. Due to the fact that these 35-year-old ladies are still partying and clubbing as they did in their 20s, the few women who did have children are no longer accepted into this particular social circle. Most of these 25-year-old males only worry about getting laid, which severely undermines the self-esteem of many women. However, they don't seem to give a damn. They want to continue the party for just a little bit longer before they reach middle age, because they need the attention of young handsome men. Many women experience the second wall in their early to mid-40s, and by the time many have lost the capacity to entice even 20-year-old gentlemen, who are only interested in physical intimacy. They typically begin gaining weight and enter menopause at that time. Asian and black women age more slowly than white women. Yet once they start to lose their beauty, many of them age rapidly. Women often mature earlier than men do when they are teenagers, because they have historically had the reproductive advantage when it comes to passing on their genes. This is because, especially at times in our history, when resources were scarce, the earlier women mature, the higher the prospects are for the survival of our species. They will, however, wither earlier as well because they flower earlier. 
Men with money and resources are more likely to attract women, and smart men who put out the effort and save money will only become more alluring to women over time. Men, on the other hand, are drawn to women because of their capacity for reproduction. The aging process can be compared to a game of poker full of deception, and other types of misdirection where both sides are involved.